Hello everyone. Today we will be learning about collective nouns. I am sure you have learned about collective nouns in your previous grades. So this lesson will refresh your memory on what was discussed and explained before. So let's start with asking ourselves, what is a collective noun? A collective noun is a word or phrase that refers to a group of people or things as one entity. One common error that arises from using collective nouns is subject-verb disagreement. Writers often become confused about whether to treat a collective noun as a singular or plural. While collective nouns are mostly treated as singular, there are exceptions. Collective nouns represent more than one person or thing in a class. It isn't possible to have just one lion in a pride and a single flower does not make a bouquet. Thus, a collective noun always describes a plurality of one kind or another. So, as you have seen in the picture, a collective noun gives you the image of multiple people, creatures or things. This is what makes most of us use the wrong verb tense with a collective noun. For example, it is incorrect to say the team are playing cricket in the stadium. The correct sentence would be the team is playing cricket in the stadium. From this example, we can see that even though the team is comprised of many players, it is one single unit. That is why the cricket team uses the singular verb is rather than the plural verb are. It is also why the team takes the pronoun it rather than they. So I can say my school cricket team is practicing in the stadium and it is coached by my uncle. The team is or are. The audience is or are. There are times when we use collective nouns that would normally require a singular verb. But because of the context in which they are used, a plural verb fits better. This happens when members of the group stop acting as a cohesive unit and begin acting as individuals. Look at this example. Today, the committee decides on who will play the next match. In this example, the collective noun committee is a group that has unified purpose today, deciding on who is going to play the next match. All the proposed players are equally good and so the committee are scratching their heads and glancing at each other in confusion. In this example, the committee are acting as individuals. Therefore, the committee now gets the plural verb are. Similar decisions must be made when we write about animals. A flock of birds flew over the tree. It is interesting to note that when a decision needs to be made about whether a collective noun is singular or plural and the answer is ambiguous because American English will almost always use a singular verb while British English writers will often choose a plural especially when using the collective noun family. My family is from Mathara. This is in American English and my family are from Mathara is in British English. Note the difference. Now, let's look at your pupils book, Unit 7, Activity 5 on page 76. You are asked to form collective nouns using the words from the two boxes. A bunch of flowers. A flock of birds, a herd of elephants, a pack of wolves, a swarm of bees, a team of players, a pile of newspapers, a board of directors, a bundle of sticks. In Activity 7, on page 77, you are asked to complete the collective nouns. Let's do it together. A bouquet of flowers, a sheaf of grain, a band of musicians, a team of players, a string of beads, three bouquets of roses, 
sheaves of corn, the bands of musicians. Collective nouns can be rather tricky, but the more you study them, the easier it would be for you to use them in your writing. Let's now look at some common collective nouns. Audience of many, band of brothers, board of directors, cast of clowns, choir of singers, class of students, committee of experts, company of dancers, crowd of fans, department of human resources, faculty of English, family of relatives, firm of lawyers, gang of bandits, group of fans, jury of peers, society of people. I'm sure you can come up with more yourselves. When using these collective nouns, you might have to consider subject-verb agreement that we discussed at the onset of this lesson. And that ends the lesson on collective nouns. I hope it was useful. Please do subscribe to our channel and have a great day.